What costs you a lot of money is doing things slowly and not knowing how to do them. It's mission impossible, guys. I'm a professional. I am actually a professional. If you would prefer that I wear a suit and tie, or at least a collared shirt, dislike this video. But if you want me to continue to just do random stuff and not wear a shirt and tie, give me a thumbs up, guys. My name is Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Check out www.battleshipcobra.com for my Udemy courses. I have one on SQL for SAP Business One and Crystal Reports for SAP Business One. If you like this video, like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe. If you wanna join the notification squad, click that bell. It sends you an email every time I make a video so you don't miss them. I make videos Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every week. So today I'm gonna to cover how to be a power user at SAP Business One. You might have you might have been using SAP Business One for a while now and you have a basic grasp on how you can get around the system. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and kind of my approach to being more productive in the SAP Business One system. I will often be doing demos and people will say, wow, I wish I was as fast as you at moving around the system. And so that's what I'm gonna try and get at today. I'm gonna to explain to you kind of my approach and give you some tips and tricks to optimize your workflows, making you more efficient all around without any additional investment. Let's get started. So step one is shortcuts. So you might not know about this, but it's something that's super easy and it'll give you a massive boost in efficiency. Tools. My shortcuts, Shh, customize. So you have all these shortcuts on your keyboard, F2, F3, blah, 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 F12. Chances are you only use a couple of these or a couple different forms every day. Uh, say you do order entry, you can go F2, click sales, click sales order, click allocate. Say the next thing you do is you use the Business Partner Master Data form all the time. You click Shortcut, F3, Business Partners, Business Partner Master Data, Allocate. You can see a list here. So I have F2, F3. I can go, let's do F4, Inventory, Allocate, okay? So now I have a list, <clears throat> F2, F3, F4. So I wanna open my uh, sales order, boom, F2. It opens up right there, close it, F3, it opens up there, and boom. I mean, that just saves you a bunch of clicks every day. You add up, say it saves you 57 clicks. 57 clicks saved, baby. Number two, form settings. So let's start up our sales order. Okay, so say you're going through here and you say, oh geez, this is so inefficient. Let me go one back. So you have an open one here, Logitech, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty clear, but maybe you don't care or know anything about any of these other fields. Maybe you don't want them. Maybe the order of them doesn't make sense to you. Maybe you don't like what you're seeing and it just bothers you and there's just fields you don't wanna see. Click this little icon at the top, form settings. Click table format. I don't even know why row format is in here. Is this, uh, I don't know, table format. And then you can scroll down, you can search, you can go type item number, BP catalog number, maybe you do want that, scroll down. There's a whole bunch of garbage in here, just uncheck it, you don't need it. I don't want this freight in here, bye bye. Uh, item cost, total item cost, don't care. Uh, total's good, tax code, la, 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 gross price, delivery day, don't need that on the row, rate, price after discount, tax code, delivered quantity, yeah, delivered quantity's good, PO, yes, no, eh, maybe, eh, I'll leave that. Open quantity, that's good, but I want to move that, so I want delivered quantity to be here. Left click and hold and move it, and then boom, you can just move them all around. So say I wanted like in stock in the warehouse, I can go to the very bottom, it's probably down here somewhere. Quantity in warehouse, I found it, but I don't wanna to have to drag it all the way up. Left click, hold it, move it, drop it on the column, it slams it up to the top. 
left click and hold it, left click, hold, drag it down. It's kind of a little tricky sometimes to get it in there, got it in there. Check it to make it visible. You can also make them not active, like maybe you don't want the item number active. Maybe you just like to search by the description, just make it inactive. Like same as some of these other things, like quantity and warehouse is already active, quantity you probably want active, PO you want active, unit price you want active, discount you probably want active, tax code's gonna be active. So most of those are gonna be active, but for the sake of argument, let's leave the item number inactive, push okay. Now you can see that your form is a little bit cleaner. So I don't need to click on my item code. It'll start in my item uh, description. Maybe that's where I search and that's easy. So that'll save you a lot of time. You can do that on almost all your forms. Clean up everything and you'll be so much more efficient. All your tabs will skip in the right direction. You got quantity, uh, la la la, all these different things. Uh, bonus tip here, you can push view, fit column width and it'll fit all the column widths of all of your uh, columns so you don't have things overlapping. So view, fit column width. Number three, don't use the main menu. So under normal circumstances, you're probably gonna have a lot of, and I'm just gonna make my head disappear. Boop. Under normal circumstances, you're not gonna have a lot of space. You're not gonna be able to just click on this main menu. This is what I mean. Don't use this guy. This is this is not that useful because you're gonna have a lot of these things overlapping. You're gonna have forms overlapping. You are going to have stuff there and it's not going to be easy necessarily to minimize in order to always click this main menu. And it wastes a lot of space on the side here. You can click on this, click form settings and remove some of the ones you don't want. Um, you can clean these up, clean ones you want. Um, so, you know, in that way it's kind of cool, but the reality is you're probably going to have a lot of stuff over top of it anyway. It's kind of inefficient. And if you're already using your, um, your shortcuts, you don't need to anyways. Use this at the top, modules, sales, sales order. Then you're going to have an easy way to open the forms. It always goes over top. Say you had a bunch of things here. Just get used to using this at the top. Don't waste your time with that side thing. The other thing is, and the reason why I made my head disappear is common functions. This is a B1UP dashboard. So if you happen to have B1UP, use the common functions buttons here. These are really neat so you can get to these places here. Or you can use the sales process. You can do custom process flow widgets. I'll link that video in the description. And I'll put a card in the corner. So you're gonna see the sales process. Boom, you have all these options here. You can do this totally custom. You can do your own custom icons. It's amazing. So you can have exactly what your process is, all of your stuff all linked here, all in the right place, and you don't have to use that sidebar. That sidebar is just a waste of space. Number four, search more efficiently. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is use your F2 to open up a sales order, just as an example. And as this opens, you can see a lot of people I see, they just immediately click this, and then they're like, oh, battleship. Oh, just a uh, nattleship, battleship. Okay, well that works, but if I went like, uh, Blah, 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 blah. then it's just gonna go to the bottom because it's not searching in all the fields. It just searches the first field, so that's annoying. So this is useless. One thing you can do is just go to the name, type B-A-T-T-L-E, wait for a quarter of a second, boom, I got Battleship Cobra, boom. I've selected it. Oh, I have multiple ship two addresses. Um, that's just a warning. But that, that search is so much faster. It'll already wildcard search everything for you. Same with the items, so you can go keyboard, Boom, comes up with these, and then you just pick the one you want. It's so much easier. Obviously, you can do like a battle, tab. It already found me, so I already knew that was what it was gonna be. But if you wanna search by the name, here's a little trick. Do your tab, or click your thing. Click form settings. This is a little trick. I'm just gonna switch this to anything else. So BP owner, then I'm gonna switch this to BP code. You can't have two of the exact same type at the same time, so you have to kind of do this thing. Then I go here to BP name. Then I can just switch these. BP code, BP name, BP code, BP name. So now you see name is first. Push update, okay. Cancel, push tab again. And now you can search by this. So I go battleship, boom, it's order organized by the name. And I go boom and select it, same thing, but you don't have to do it. You can do the same thing with the item description. Some people are code people and some people are name people. So that will, those, those simple things will change uh, everything. 
you can go and click your button here and you can add additional fields too. So these are just the ones that were there, but there's every single thing. If there's some better way that you need to search or something that you want to do it by, by all means do that. Just keep in mind, this will change it for everybody in the system. So just watch out, Let like, don't just remove things. Don't be like, I don't even need to see the code, but people, some people do need to see the code. Um, and just let people know before you make the change, okay? Number five, dates and date tricks. So let's open up our sales order again. Just you're gonna push that shortcut. So now that this is open, you have to pull some specific dates. So let's put Battleship Cobra, B-A-T-T-L. Boom. Customer has multiple ship added, that's what that. Okay, so in the same month, you could type any number you want. Okay, so you can go one, it'll be November 1st, because it's in November. You could type you could type 30, and it'll go the 30th. You could type plus 60, right? 60 days later. Wow, that's cool for due dates, right? That's amazing. Or in the same year. Stop bugging me with that. In the same year, you can go 0101. It'll assume the same year. So you could go. <sighs> Fine. So we can go uh, 0101. We can go 1031 Halloween, changes the fiscal year or financial year. Boom. Uh, you could type T, tab, that'll give you today's date. So those are a couple tricks that will help you with dates. T for today, number, just a straight number will be the same month. You can go plus 60. I wonder if you can go minus, I wonder if you can go minus 60. Oh, you can, minus 60, so 30 days ago. Keeps warning me about that thing, whatever. Give you all sorts of things. So you can do that in any of those date fields and that'll speed up your workflow a little bit more as well. The next one is just regular keyboard shortcuts. So we're gonna do a shortcut key to start our sales order. Then you can do battleship here, battle tab. Gives me the warning. So you can always go tab, tab. You can go shift tab, which will go back. Did you know that? Tab, tab, shift tab. So you went by something and you want to go back, tab, tab, shift, tab. You can close the form with escape, escape. You can use your keys. Enter will do the highlighted key there. So I can say no, push F2 again. So I can go tab, escape, B-A-T-T, -T, tab, enter, tab, 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 right? So I have to pick something. So I'm gonna go item description, keyboard, down, tab, oops, down, tab, 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 shift, tab, 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 tab. Okay, so that's good. I wanna save this document now. I have to do a delivery date. You can push enter. Enter will always click this button that's highlighted. So whatever that is, add, update, so I can go, Click add, oh, please enter a customer reference number, A, B, C, enter. Customer reference exists, see yeah, I can use left and right keys, yes, no, enter. So you can go enter, enter, left, right, easy. With B1 up, it automatically comes back. I can use control left and right to scroll between sales orders. So you can see I'm moving between sales orders by holding control left, right. So this works for every single form. So if you're on uh, 201, 142, and you wanna to go to the next one or whatever, you can just uh, do that. If you wanna remove a row really quickly, Control K. Yes, removes rows, Control K. And that's kind, that, that kind of will get you started. Tab, Shift, Tab, Enter, uh, up, right, left, down, Control, left, right, Control K. Use your enter to add an update. So I can push update, there's no item, so it'll break it, but um, I can click that. You can also go data and look, some of these other ones actually have other shortcuts too, but those are, are good ones. Oh, control F, control F goes into find mode, control A goes into add mode. So I'll go control F, enter, control A, I'm already there, B-A-T-T, -T, tab, enter, tab, something. Tab, 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 today, right? Boom, so you get your tab order, and then if I need to go back, I can go shift tab, 
back to where I want it. A, B, C, one, da, 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 da. I'm ready to go, add, click here. Sometimes you're gonna have to click keyboard, down, enter. Perfect, okay? So those are some those are some simple keyboard shortcuts. There's obviously a lot more, but those are the ones I use. And those ones uh, get me around really quickly in the system. Escape, escape, escape. Another one that's gonna help you, this isn't really like, uh, this is just kind of a bonus one, is window close all. So you could just close all your windows. If you're like, I don't even know where I am, just close all your windows. Boop. Do I wanna save? No. So my final kind of tip is workflow. Um, like, sometimes for me watching users use SAP is kind of painful because they are just so inefficient. You know, they're like, I need to find this sales order. So what do I have to do? I have to go to, you know, main menu, sales, sales reports, open sales orders. Then I have to go this, that, and the other thing, you know, like why not go to the sales order, push control F and then search for the number. You just type in the number, push enter and it'll find that number. Why not go to the sales order, push control F, put part of the name into the, the, the name of the business partner. So go star, battle star, enter. It'll find all of the sales orders relating to that particular uh, customer. Why not start with the business partner master data and the business partner master data has a, a golden arrow that links to all of the orders for that customer. So. That's just a tiny example, but people are just so inefficiently doing things. You know, there's queries that can improve your life. B1 usability package, if you do the same thing over and over and over again, you can just automate it. You know, sending out account balances, you you like PDF everything, you manually do the emails. I mean, you could save yourself a day a month or something just by using B1 up uh, print and delivery. If you do, again, like the same repetitive task, just typing or duplicating two forms, like you can easily do that. Better buttons, better reports, and just thinking through and streamlining your system and how you interact with the system to get better results quicker. You can ask your SAP Business One partner, and that's what I always try to do. I try to help people just by, you know, even if I'm helping them with another uh, issue, I try to give them something that they can walk away with to make them quicker or to help them with a better query. So don't just accept how it is. You know, if you care about what you do and you wanna be faster, why not share and ask questions, ask for a session with a consultant and just say, hey, am I doing this as quickly as possible? Is there anything you can help me with? Can I get a little button here? If you're willing to invest a bit more money, get B1UP, add buttons everywhere, move fields and add fields wherever you want and make the system the way you want it. Why not? It'll make you faster and it'll make you more efficient. So that's it for today. I hope that's provided some value and sped your workflow up a little bit. You can check out my website, www.battleshipcobra.com for SQL for SAP Business One. Speaking of workflows and things, make your own queries, save yourself time. If you need a specific query for something, you can write it yourself. Crystal reports for SAP Business One, Make your crystal reports exactly how you want. I mean, if you're exporting to Word and then editing stuff in Word or you're exporting to Excel and you think, eh, it's easier than to do it in Excel. It's not. Do everything in SAP. Make it faster. Ask a consultant. You can put anything in there. If it's data, you can store it. Why not? Make yourself more efficient. It doesn't cost a lot of money. What costs you a lot of money is doing things slowly and not knowing how to do them. That's what costs you money. So that's it for now. I make weekly videos Mondays, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, weekly. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to join the notification squad, click that bell below. It'll give you an email every time I make a new video. Thank you very much. See you next week.